Hey, this is Wesley with Millwright CNC, and today we're going to look at what to do when your machine is binding on the XY axis. We are going to start with the Carve King 2 family of machines, move to the Mega V family, and end with the Power Out Plus. With all our machines, you first want to check the coupler. Make sure the two pinch screws are tight. Do not over tighten or you will strip the screws. There are two screws, one for the motor shaft and one for the lead screw. The coupler takes a 2.5 millimeter hex key. In order to bring the lead screw in alignment with the frame, loosen the motor screws. Three for each of the Y axis, four for the X. Loosen the screws just enough to jiggle the motors. The pillow block bearing on the other end of the lead screw has two set screws that keep the lead screw from shifting. Make sure they are tight. The set screw takes a 1.5 millimeter hex key. There are two button cap screws with nylock nuts on the pillow block bearings. Loosen these screws enough to jiggle the lead screw. The button caps use a 3mm hex key. Jog the machine to the pillow block bearing, leaving room to reach the screws. Tighten the screws on the pillow block bearing. The machine should have brought the lead screw at this end into alignment with the frame. Jog the machine to the motor, leaving room to reach the screws. Tighten the motor screws. The lead screw should be in full alignment with the frame now. If binding still occurs, check your V-wheels. You should be able to rotate each wheel by hand while the wheel is in contact with the extrusion. If the wheels are too tight to turn by hand, adjust the eccentric spacers to loosen the wheels. It is also possible that the screw holding the wheel to the plate is compressing the bearing, impeding movement. You may have to loosen the screw to allow the bearing to spin. You may need to check the anti-backlash nut. If it is too tight, it will cause binding. Make sure the set screw just touches the plastic. Then cap the set screw with the jam nut. Like the coupler on the Carve King machines, you will need to check the pinion gears on the Mega V. There are two set screws in each pinion gear. Make sure they are tight. And make sure that the pinion gear is not dragging on the extrusion. The pinion gear will use a 2.5 millimeter hex key. With the motors unplugged from the back of the electronics box, 
move the machine by hand, checking for tight spots on the rack. When a tight spot is found, loosen the screws on the rack around the area. This will allow you to adjust the rack. Press slightly on the rack to alleviate the pressure and re-tighten the screws. You may need to check the V-wheels on the Mega-V if binding still occurs. Just like the Carp King 2, you should be able to move the V-wheels individually by hand while they are in contact with the extrusion. If they are tight, adjust the eccentric spacers. You may have to loosen the screw holding the wheel to the plate if binding continues. The bearing can be compressed by the screw if too tight. The power rail will be much like the Carp King 2. Check that the coupler is tight. Then loosen the floating bearing bracket located at the end of the ball screw opposite the motor. Next, loosen the fixed bearing bracket near the motor. Last, loosen the four screws on the motor. Jog the machine to the motor and tighten the fixed bearing bracket and the motor screws. Jog to the other end of the machine and tighten the floating bearing bracket. This will properly align the ball screws. The fixed and floating bearing bracket will be located under the machine for the Y axis. We appreciate you joining us today. If you have any other questions about your machine binding, contact us at support at millwrightcnc.com. If you have any questions about any of our machines, contact sales at millwrightcnc.com. Thank you.